Hello, and welcome to the Clever Fox YouTube channel. My name is Elise, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to use two planners simultaneously. So whether you are using them for different purposes or you have a smaller one for on the go and a bigger one that stays at home with you, I'm going to be sharing how to do it, how to organize your life in two different planners and make sure that you are not missing anything. So speaking of missing anything, make sure you watch the entire video so that you don't miss any of the tips and tricks that I'm going to be sharing with you today and that you are subscribed to our channel with that notification bell turned on so you get notified each time we share a new video. Let's get started. All right, now to start, let's talk about some of the reasons that you may want to use two planners simultaneously. First one and the one that I personally identify the most with is because I want to. I like writing things down. I like keeping my life organized and sometimes multiple planners is the way to do that. Another reason is perhaps you love the size of the Pro, but it's not as portable for your lifestyle. Using a smaller planner like an A5 in coordination with a Pro can be really helpful, whereas the A5 has like the top level things that you need in your life, and then the Pro is where it all happens. So we're going to kind of do that as an example today to talk about how you could plan for two weeks, or for one week really, simultaneously, but in two planners. So let's move this one aside and focus on this one. So the first thing that we are going to do is date this. So let's write down March 2023. And then we will start with the 13th, 14th, and 18th. Now, like I said, this is such a great size to be able to be portable. You could probably throw it in a small purse or your big purse. It's not too heavy. It's really like the Goldilocks planner in terms of a planner that you are taking with you and putting somewhere. So we are going to put some simple things down. Now, again, because this is the on the go planner, I'm not going to use stickers or highlighters or markers. We're really just going to put down the main points. So as I'm looking, I know that on Thursday, I have dinner with a friend. I know that on Wednesday, I have a bill due. I know on Saturday, whoops, we forgot about Sunday. Sorry, Sunday. I know that on Saturday, I have another bill due. And I'm doing just a star because it's not necessarily time sensitive. On Sunday, time sensitive, I have an oil change. And on Tuesday, I have a doctor's appointment. Okay, now let's add in some other things that might come up throughout the week. So on Tuesdays, I typically also have Zoom meetings at night. So we're gonna put this down over here. And then as an example, we can do uh, 4 p.m. soccer practice. And on Friday, let's do 7 p.m. family dinner. And Saturday, we can do girls spa day, which is a fun way to spend a Saturday. So this is where I'm kind of mapping out the things that I already know are going to alter my schedule. And by alter my schedule, they're not going to make huge changes in my schedule, but it's going to help me when I need to plan in the pro planner, which is going to be hourly. So we can write down this week's main goal is going to be focus on productivity post vacation, because I'll have been away the week prior and anyone knows coming back from a trip is very busy in terms of getting back on track. Then we can note this week's priorities as well and leave room for this. So we of course have appointments, file taxes, which is one of my March goals. And this will be the week to do it since I'll have been away the previous week and family time. Okay, now, as always, I like to leave room for what comes up because again, this planner is not going to have everything. This is going to be the top level idea of the things that need to get done before we move it into the hourly. Of course, this is also great. Let's open up a monthly 
spread to be able to map out your month. So when someone says, oh, are you available on the 16th for dinner? And you have this on the go with you, you will be able to take a look at it and know if that's open or not. Also great for making appointments. So the idea would be that you would start with the monthly calendar, put down the things, the bills, the appointments, the meetings, the plans, then move them here and then move it into the pro as we are going to do shortly. So another thing I'll jot down of personal to-do list. And after coming back from a trip, definitely reconcile, budget, print, photos. And again, we are going to leave more room. We can use the habits and skills here for things that may be more done on the go, or we can use the other, or we can use both just as kind of a place like checks and balances wise. So for habits and skills, we are going to do read, exercise, let's do 100 ounces of water, clean, social call. Okay, so we have our top level here. I think that we are going to move over to the pro and I'll show you how I take this and move it into a larger planner. Okay, so this is what a typical blank week will look like in the hourly pro. It has today's goal, three priorities, time slots at every half hour from 6 a.m. through 9 p.m. in addition to the date, this week's main goal, this week's priorities, work-life balance, try and learn something new. I am excited about work to-do list, personal to-do list, habit tracker, Saturday and Sunday are a little bit shorter. We're going to go from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., but hourly, not every half hour. And then a weekly review, and of course, the dot grid section. So if I was sitting down to plan my week based on what I had here. Here's how we would do it. So March 2023. And now we're going to take this information and transfer it over. So we noted soccer practice on Monday at 4 p.m. And let's say that is an hour. So I'm going to highlight our time block there and put in soccer practice. Then on Tuesday, same thing with the neurologist appointment, but I'm going to block out a little bit longer because of the time it will take to drive to the appointment and come home. So I'm going to put the appointment here at 10, but we're blocking out longer than that because it's going to take some time to get there. Okay, then we have the Zoom call on Tuesday as well. So that is just going to be the hour. I don't have to calculate the time it will take to cut, get into my office. Then let's go to Wednesday. So I have a bill due on Wednesday. We need to date this as well. I think because I had the dates next to me here and kind of forgot to date it. 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th. I love this space up at the top in terms of priorities for bills that are due because it's a really great place to put them. The things that might not be as time sensitive, but that you'll be able to include. Now let's move over to Thursday. So I know that Thursday I have 6 p.m. dinner. Again, there's going to be a little bit of driving here. So we're gonna do 5.30, six let's go to let's go to eight and we are doing dinner with justine okay friday's 7 p.m family dinner is going to be one that i will be cooking for so we're going to do six let's give myself that time and then let's just do that through the end of the night so seven is family dinner okay back to the weekend now we have saturday there's a bill due so it's going to be pay verizon and we are going to do the girls spa day. So let's block out several hours there for the spa day and even just writing it in big letters. So I know this time is blocked out. I can't do anything else during this time, nor will I want to. All right, Sunday, 9 a.m. oil change. Because this is hour and not half hour, I am going to block half of it. So I went halfway down on the 10 and halfway down on the eight for the oil change. All right, now we also have the space for the priorities, personal to-do list. So we'll note over here, 
just kind of use the same color because why not? And let's get a little bit closer over here. So we have reconcile budget and print photos. Okay, now we can use a different color for work and we'll put down some work to do's. Again, I don't usually fill this up fully before the week starts because I leave room for what's coming up. But what I will know, I do know is going to happen is going to be mid month billing. All right, and then let's fill in the habit tracker as well. One of the benefits of filling this in in both spots is that if you leave the home and you work from, go, you go to an office or something like that, or you don't work and you're running errands, if you, you might forget what you did during the day. So for example, you're drinking water. You might forget that you drank water to put it back in this larger planner later on. So being able to have it in your on the go planner is definitely beneficial. You could, if you wanted to, split the habit trackers so that one are things that you're going to definitely do at home and one would be things to do on the go. But I do like having them in both places because I feel like it's a little bit more, again, checks and balances that way. So we have the habit tracker, we have the space down here, and now we can fill in the rest of the week. So we'll move this aside and this week's priorities are going to be appointments, file, taxes, and family time. Sometimes we prioritize something that's not necessarily a to-do, but something that's really important to us, like family time. And then this week's main goal is going to be productivity. Now, as I'm looking at this, it's pretty much already set up for me for my week because looking here, I know what already has to happen because we've moved it from our A5 into the Pro and it's ready for me to plan. So I hope that this video was helpful, just kind of showing you different ideas as to how you could simultaneously use two planners. Of course, you could also use any type of planner in correspondence or coordination. Let's try that again. Of course, you could use any type of planner in coordination with a budget planner or a wellness planner or a travel one, a food and recipe log, any of the several planners that we have available for you at cleverboxplanner.com. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Let us know your thoughts on this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and that you are subscribed to our channel with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss any tips and tricks that we are sharing. And also leave a comment about what else you'd like to see from our channel. Thanks again, and we will see you soon.